Today, I have some facts about Pluto. Now, Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore, but since it was when I went to school, I'm gonna do some facts about Pluto. What color is Pluto? Brown. Next fact. Ever wonder what Pluto's atmosphere is like? Well, Pluto is covered in a thin atmosphere mostly comprised of methane gas. Pluto is the furthest planet from the sun. Therefore, scientists have found that Pluto is made up of mostly ice. Scientists also believe that Pluto has no life form. Percival Lowell was an American astronomer who was the first to have believed that Pluto ever existed. In 1905, he discovered that there was an unknown gravity force disrupting the orbits of both Neptune and Uranus. Percival Lowell never found Pluto. In 1916, he passed away. In 1930, when more wide-range, powerful telescopes were available, an astronomer working at the Powell Observatory named Clyde Tomba found Pluto. And because Pluto has no life on it, he named it after the Roman god of death. Pluto has three moons, but for the longest time, astronomers only knew of one moon. That is the largest moon, named Charon. Now, Charon's mass is half that of Pluto's. Its diameter is 1,210 kilometers. Pluto's other two moons are named Nix and Hydra. They were discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope May 15, 2005. Their original names were S2005P1 and S2005P2. On June 21, 2006, they were given the names Nix and Hydra. The reason why it's taken scientists so long to discover Nix and Hydra is because Nix is only 46 kilometers across and Hydra is only 61 kilometers across. So they're fairly small. So obviously Pluto is really far away. In 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons probe and that's expected to pass by Pluto in the year 2015. So that would make its journey a nine year journey. In 2006, NASA demoted Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet. In case you're wondering why, this is because in order for Pluto to be a planet, it has to have a greater mass than the objects orbiting with it. For example, Earth has 1.5 million times greater mass than the objects orbiting around it, and Pluto only has 0.07 greater mass. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any comments, leave them below. Don't forget to rate my video, and I'll see you next time. Rachel and I took a road trip, and we had a lot of fun, and we documented some of it. So in an upcoming video, we've got some footage of our road trip. In another upcoming video, I've got more facts about Pluto. <laughs> Go. Jamie and Rachel and we're here to say we'll represent Hot Facts Girls today. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Subscribe! Subscribe! Subscribble! <laughs> Scribble dibble! Scribble! <laughs> Scribble dibble! <laughs> wicka wicka wicka! Wicka wicka! Oh. What? What? Percival Lowell was an American astronomer who was the first to have believed that Pluto ever existed. In 1905, he discovered that there was an unknown gravity force. Oh, f my hair. F my hair. In 1905, he discovered that there was an unknown gravity force disrupting the orbits of Neptune and Pluto. F Pluto. <laughs> Pluto. Your anus. So the orbits of. of yeah. Damn it! I almost had it. In 1905. <laughs> Do you want me to cut? No, I, I got it. I, I'll get it this time. I'm hungry, so I need to eat something. Okay. In night. Percival, <laughs> you lied. You are a liar. I'm a liar. <laughs> Don't ever lie to me again like that, Jamie. I'm losing trust in you. <clears throat> Percival Lauer. Lauer. <laughs> First of all, lawyer. <laughs> liar. <laughs> That's why I said it. Because you called me a liar. <laughs>
Okay. Percival Lowell was an American astronomer who was the first to have believed that Pluto ever existed. In 1905, he discovered that there was an unknown gravity force disrupting the orbits of both Neptune and Uranus. Woo! I'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I make sure to say rape. And don't forget to rape my video. It sounds like I say rape. It does. I don't want to say rape. Like we all say rape. Who cares? I say rape. Shouldn't say that. <laughs>